So I want to give you five tips on how to learn maths. But before I begin, I just want to say one thing. Don't study with me. Tea. Should we get a cup of tea? Yeah, let's get some tea. That's how it usually goes when I'm studying. I'm probably one of the world's worst studiers and I'm really easily distracted. I mean, you know, I can distract myself. I wonder if I could do that thing where you click your fingers and your, your clothes change. You know, how is it? Is it... Cool. Try again. Oh, this is good. But one of the reasons why, you know, the study with me videos wouldn't work for me is that I'm so easily distracted by YouTube as well. I mean, you know, I think we all are. That's the way the algorithm's designed. It's designed to keep you on the platform. Call each and every member. Hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome to another English class. <laughs> so my five tips for learning maths are number one, got to believe in yourself and you know you have this growth mindset that I've mentioned on the channel before so many people are sort of convinced by usually others it's usually the result of a bad teacher that this is not for them maths is somehow something they're incapable of learning that is not true you can definitely learn maths so just believe that this is a skill like any other that you can acquire oh, I'm having fun with this Number two, remove distractions. I know I mentioned it briefly, but you know, math is a very technical skill. And you know, you can go online to look at tutorials. But for me, I find when I'm trying to learn concepts and practice, I need to find a quiet spot somewhere away from distractions, you know, away from social media, away from phones and computers and anything that's likely to message me or, you know, bring my attention like YouTube does so easily with its watch list, just away from all of that. Cake, cake, that's what we need, cake. Got cake now. Slice of cake, let's just do it. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Number three is practice problems. You cannot learn maths, you know, by picking up a book and reading through a concept and, you know, just having a look at the explanation and thinking, yeah, got that and putting it down. You actually have to solve problems. Only through problem solving do you really get to grips with the concepts and how to apply them in different situations. It's, it's a vital part of the learning process when it comes to maths. Whatever you're learning maths for, you know, whether it's data science, whether you're learning linear algebra, calculus or probability and statistics, you need to take those concepts and ap apply them using problems, as many problems as you possibly can. Don't just solve the easy problems that you understand. Look for the difficult problems and try to solve them. Number four is teach. Once you've acquired these skills and you feel pretty confident that you know what you're doing, what you need to do is teach. Teaching is a really great way of sort of consolidating what you know and the act of sort of imparting that information and explaining it to someone um, and to do it well and concisely is really part of the learning process. So, you know, make sure once you've acquired these skills and you've acquired this knowledge, teach it to someone. Also, the questions that they ask will make you see the problems and the concepts from different angles and perhaps from perspectives that you hadn't seen before. Hello? No, 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 I'm not busy. No, just doing some um, bit of maths. No, no, it's not that. It's quite easy, actually. Yeah. No, I've been doing it for a while now. I'm, I'm pretty much there, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And number five, stay motivated. Find what it is that motivates you. Find what it is that makes you want to do this, that's going to keep you plugging away at it for the you know, months and years, in some cases, required in order to be able to master all of this stuff. But finally, make sure you have fun. Maths is a fantastic subject. Anyone can learn it. Your life will be enriched by knowing maths. So remember, don't study with me. Practice your maths and keep away from those distractions. Bye.